With Elon's Tesla revolutionizing the entire car industry, his boring company making tunneling more possible than ever, and SpaceX single-handedly creating the world of privately owned space exploration, there seems to be no limit to his achievements. However, recently there have been rumors that the legendary tech god has his eyes set on another industry that he seeks to change. And if he does, it will affect every single one of our lives. That's right, rumors have not only been circulating around, but have started coming from major sources that Tesla is out to create a phone unlike any other, one by the name of the Pi Phone, that will work on Mars, have 5G level internet in the Sahara, and will be able to change its color. But does Tesla really have a shot at making this phone? And how does it compare to the world's current leader in technology, the Apple iPhone, which you might be using? The answers to those and more are in this video, so buckle up if you want to learn more. And with that said, let's take a look at both of the competitors with their history and background. iPhone. Ever since its release all the way back in 2007 at the hands of Steve Jobs, who some might say was an Elon Musk of his era in his own right, the iPhone has gone on to become the most revolutionary piece of technology to have ever been introduced. Everything from the use of touchscreens, the improvement of camera technology, modern internet services, and general UI and design choices that are seen in modern phones is a direct result of the iPhone. And even after more than a decade of release, they seem to be going just as strong, with nearly 200 million units sold in just the previous year. All the while, Apple, the manufacturer, has gone on to become the single most valuable company in the world, with a total worth that is greater than most countries in the world. And so when we say the Pi phone has some big competition, we mean it. But that doesn't mean that Elon doesn't have his own tricks up his sleeve. Pi phone. On the surface, it may look like the Pi phone is going to have a tough time because of its young and startup-like nature. However, the entire background where it comes from is nothing short of impressive. We've already mentioned how Elon has revolutionized entire industries and continues to do so. And a man who can change the entire car industry, one that's lasted nearly a century, over seven times the time smartphones have lasted, will probably be able to make more than a ripple when he decides to go mobile. And another thing that we get besides Elon's expertise is the sheer amount of resources he can pool into this phone. Because well, lest we forget, the man has been the world's richest man more than a few times. So combining Elon's expertise, the technical knowledge from all the different fields his companies work in, and the resources he's gained from that, we have a perfect background for Tesla to be able to make the next generation of mobile telephone technology. And so now with the background covered, let's move on to the exact specs and features that differentiate both of the companies and and their offerings. To start with, let's talk about the most striking feature of any phone, the design. To start, let's go over the iPhone. Now I don't think I need to tell any of you what an iPhone looks like. They used to be rounded rectangles with rectangular screens and a round home button, and now they look like rounded rectangles with a nearly full screen and a long notch. However, anyone who's used an iPhone can tell you that the most distinguishing feature for them is their attention to detail and quality. As such, the iPhone 13 has aluminum sides, a frosted glass back, and diamond cut details, all of which make for an awesome hand feel and durability. But let's just say the Pi phone has not only the standard stuff, but is rumored to have a back that is covered with tiny photochromic scales, which will make it change color due to the light it's in. The display. Not only is the design way ahead of Apple, but the Pi phone is also rumored to have a full screen display that has a camera hidden beneath the screen and is capable of taking selfies through the display. And to round off the physical features, let's talk about the camera. In this department, long dominated by Apple itself, the Pi phone is rumored to have four camera lenses compared to the iPhone 13's three, allowing it probably a greater zoom capability. And while we don't think it'll beat Apple in photo quality, Tesla might be able to integrate their AI technology that they use for self-driving for stuff like object recognition and other features. And that brings us to another phone feature, AI and software. Apple is known for using stuff like Siri as assistance, and their latest phones have some of the most impressive AR technology out there, which is stuff that blends the real world with the digital one, allowing you to make virtual maps of rooms and play interactive games. But that has nothing on the Pi phone's Neuralink. For those familiar with Elon's empire, the name may sound oddly familiar, and that's because it's the name of Elon's company that is researching ways to implant chips in people's brains, allowing them to communicate with tech telepathically. Neuralink's working well in um, in monkeys. We were actually doing um, just a, a lot of testing um, and just confirming that it's it's very safe and reliable, and that it, 
the, the Neuralink device can be removed safely. What this means is that if not at release in the future, the Pi phone may be controllable through brain signals alone with no physical touch needed. And that brings us to the final major part of a phone, connectivity. All of Apple's latest phones, including the iPhone 13, are capable of running on the latest 5G cellular network. And although that might sound really small right now, as the network grows, it'll allow phones to have internet speeds that parallel those of wired connections on the go. And with a 5G penetration rate swiftly climbing to 37% in 2021, that future might be near. However, not only will the Pi phone have 5G enabled, it may actually be the world's most well-connected phone due to a little something called Starlink. Starlink, like the aforementioned Neuralink, is one of Elon's ventures, only this time, its impact is a lot more tangible to you and me. Basically, this network will consist of thousands of satellites in orbit around the Earth, all of which will join together to create this literal cloud of internet, to which special Starlink radars will be able to connect directly from literally anywhere on the planet, from the Sahara to the Amazon rainforest, to get access to fiber-quality internet. This means that in the near future, with the use of a device the size of a table, anyone can have access to the internet anywhere. And you guessed it, the Pi phone is going to be natively integrated into this network, meaning that if the rumors are true, Pi phone users may not even need the middle router and will be able to have direct internet 24-7 literally anywhere in the world, making it the single most well-connected phone out there. And so now with all the technical aspects and rumored features of the phone talked about, let's move on to the last major factor that will decide which phone comes out victorious. Where both companies are. At the time of the recording of this video, Apple is the world's most valuable company with a market cap of nearly $3 trillion. Not only that, but we shouldn't forget the fact that in the phone world, there is a lot more competition than just the iPhone. According to TrendForce, a market intelligence firm states that at this moment, the world's biggest phone makers in order are Samsung, Apple, Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, and Huawei. And collectively, just these six make up about 80% of the entire global phone market. And so to summarize, to make the Pi phone work, Tesla will have to do an amazing job and it may take some effort. And luckily for them, they are no slouch themselves. You see, while many used to consider them the underdog of the automaker world, right now they enjoy being the first automaker to hit $1 trillion in market capitalization, and as a result, being the most valuable car makers in the world. And with many analysts saying that the company is just beginning with ventures like robo-taxis driven by AI, changing how people move, it might not be too long before they too will be vying for the spot of biggest company in the world, making the companies fight more directly than ever. And speaking of direct competition, did you know that Apple might be making their own electric car? That's right, just this week, reporters from Bloomberg revealed that the Cupertino tech giant is moving fast toward completing their EV venture, which is impressive in its own right, using Apple's software mastery to push toward a car that has a fully self-driving system in the first version, unlike Tesla and other electric cars, which are only slowly increasing the self-driving functionality of already existing cars. And so what we realize from this is that both companies are in the unique position of where either could have a chance at beating the other, and it'll all depend on who embraces the future first and how well they do that. And that finally brings us to the conclusion. With the Pi phone, Tesla seeks to create a world in which phones are far more connected, durable, and have a larger range than ever before. And while the iPhone is undoubtedly the single most important product to have been launched in the past two decades, with features like Tesla's revolutionary Neuralink integration, native access to Starlink, and their unique design approach, if they do it right, they might just beat Apple. And with devdiscourse.com reporting in September that 2021 did not pass by Elon Musk. Every day in search engines, people ask the same question. Is Tesla releasing a phone? Yes, we will see Elon Musk's smartphone soon we can rest assured that the smartphone world is about to get a lot more exciting, and it's going to get there fast. And well, on that note, we must end today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, click on this video to learn more about Apple's self-driving car. With that, take care, and I'll see you guys next time.